Good morning. Welcome to Wendy Hill Kennel. So this is Thanksgiving week. I hope everybody is having a Thanksgiving, at least with by yourself at home, or like us, we're having our kids are all coming home. My kids are not going to not come home. That's just crazy. So we're going to have a house full of kids and grandkids. And um, so, you know, it, it is what it is. And uh, so I'm cooking a lot this week. So today is video day. I'm not doing pictures this week. I don't have time uh, at all. So in fact, my son and his kids are all rolling in sometime late this afternoon up um, from out of state. So I, I don't think I'll tell you what state in case somebody's stupid. Anyway. <laughs> so anyway, they're coming up. Um, this is um, Ginger's kids. I had sugar on the brain because we did sugars earlier. Uh, these guys, these are schnauzers. These aren't schnoodles. And you know, when I sit them down, I said, no, wait a minute, these aren't schnoodles, are they? <laughs> They're so fuzzy. They've got such great hair. I'm dying to give them a haircut. Um, so this morning we're gonna do, we're gonna go over uh, color colors and weights and get that done real quick. And I put it up on the counter, okay. All right, so I got this one on my lap. We'll just start with this one. This one has the orange collar. I can't, this hair is almost two and a half inches long. It is just, they have massive coats. I can't believe how long their hair is. This one is, come on, 56.57. This one is the dark chocolate. It's got that neon orange collar on. Uh, just beautiful, beautiful coats really pretty faces. I'm not doing pictures this week because of Thanksgiving. I'm going to have people here clear till Sunday. So we're going to get close up face pictures today and weights. And that's where we're going to end it. Two pounds, 13 ounces. It's going to get me off the scale. All right. So that's a female, by the way. Did you get a good face picture of that one? Okay. All right, I'm doing all the dark ones first because Vanessa says, you're gonna be able to keep them straight? I said, I don't know, I'm gonna try. This is the little one. This is the neon pink, 56.55 female. Let me stick all this hair under your collar. Golly sake, they got so much hair. So look at this hair, it's like super, super long. I know it, she's just a cute baby. She's such a cutie, oh my gosh. She is so cute. I love the coats. Coats are super soft. They're a little bit scared. Probably by the end of this, they'll be up and playing and walking around. Uh, one pound, 13 ounces. This one, <clears throat> if this one does not reach three pounds, she will not be able to be spayed while she's here. So we're just gonna have to play it by ear because my vet is really, really strict about a weight limit. So I don't know that she's gonna be able to be done. We'll just have to wait and see. All right, so let's do the other chocolate and white that's out here. I'm going to keep track because the other two are behind me. This is 56.58, and this is forest green. Let me tuck your hair under. So this one is, there you can see the forest green collar. She's like, I don't want to stand like this. No. Let's turn around here. Oop, boop, 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 boop. Hold on. All right, you're, I think, think you're going to fall. Give me your feet. There you go. There. Now she's gonna quit and settle down. She says, this is really stressful on me. All right, let's go over here and see. Two pounds, 11 ounces as of today. All right, let's put you out here. Let's put you out here. I have more toys, guys. Yes, I have more toys. All right, let's do these dark ones. I'm gonna move these little guys. I want them to get out of here and not hover back here. And so you've gotta get out here and get going. Yeah, you gotta get out here and get going. I'm gonna put you out here and let you get out of your shell. These are my last two chocolate and white ones, so I want them to sit still for a minute. All right, we are 56.62. And hold her up there and let her look at the camera. She says, I don't wanna look at the camera. This is neon green collar. Pretty, pretty coat. I know, you have a pretty coat. Down you go, down you go. We are two pounds, 13 ounces. I know it, you guys get out here and move around, you won't be so scared. All right, the next one is Sleeping Beauty back here. 
5660, and this one has a red collar, and this is another female. Can you look up at Vanessa? Can you look up at Vanessa a little bit? That one's kind of sneak over there. Oh, no, you're not falling. You're not going to fall. All right, let's come over here. This one thinks she's hiding. Two pounds, seven ounces. Okay, I'm putting you out here. I'm going to move you because you think you're hiding. And I'm going to move you. There you go. Yeah, look there. Now I moved you. All right, so this one is, we're going to do the light chocolates. This is a male, 5656. What do you think, big bud? What do you think? He's got royal blue collar. I'm going to stick his hair under his collar. Now you can see collar, color. Huge coats. They just, oh, they're so soft. They're so soft. Next week, they're going to be crazy. All right, are you moving? Okay. I'm going to move just for a second. Three pounds, 0 0.5. All right, so he's done. You're all right. Let's see. Let me grab this one. Oh. All right, so you are the yellow collar, 56.59. And this one has the, the bright yellow collar. I know, oh, I know, you're freaking out. It'll be all right. Let me get your feet, and then you'll not think you're going to fall. Oh, you're all right. Nope, you want to stand right there? They're starting to think about moving around. Some of them are still sitting here, like, having a trauma. All right, let me scoot you guys over so we can see the scale. Two pounds, 11.5. Okay, Chunko. And you're easy to get a hold of. This one's hair is unreal. I think this one has the, the biggest coat of everybody. 5661. This is the purple collar. And this one has, this has a coat that just does not. This is a Turbo 2 coat. You have your daddy's coat big time. Yep, you have your daddy's coat big time. This is a female. 5661. All right, I know you're touching my scale back there. I see the numbers changing. Oops, you're all right. Come here. Come here, Munchkin. I'm going to pull you out of here so you don't touch the scale. Two pounds, 6.5. All right, I think we've got one more, and she is sound asleep. Are you, chew are you looking at my socks? What are you doing? I know. This is the last one. This is the other little sleeping beauty. This is the next to the littlest one in the litter. And she has the turquoise collar, 56.54. And she's got such, you can't see her merling much anymore because the hair is growing together and getting thicker, which kind of hides the merling. But she's got a really, really pretty coat. Are you looking, huh? Are you looking? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? He says, oh, I like this. He said, no, you can't chew on that. Just a minute. You can chew on it in a minute. One pound, 15 ounces. This one also may be on that hit list not to be able to be spayed. I'm not sure. We'll just have to wait and see what we're at when we hit the eight-week mark. Um, you're already up and moving around the wagon your tail. Yes, you are. You're wagging your tail. So these guys are doing really good. They are up with mom and moving around. I, uh, Vanessa said she moved them into the big kennel today, so they've got a five-foot by ten-foot kennel. Are you coming around? Um... I have told everybody that if you have any questions that you want answered, uh, what time is it? You got 10. Okay. Uh, we're at 10? Okay. So a couple people ask uh, a couple questions. One was Betsy Reeves asked about brushes. This is the brush, and you can tell it's got hair in it. I use this all the time. So the big deal with, with brushes, when you go to the pet store and you're going to buy a brush, this is made by Safari. I like Safari brand brushes, and... Pet Edge, which is the first vendor on our vendor list that you're going to get from uh, in your, your book. They carry Safari. I like Safari because it bends. So when you're brushing your dog and you go over a hip bone, it moves. It doesn't just grind across the bone. This brush has two sides. This side is a light color. This side is a, a dark color. This is the stiffer side. This is the light side. 
So you should be able to pick these up and I can actually comb my hair with this and it doesn't hurt. Yes, I've used it on the dog, but it's okay, it's clean. Um, and I can do puppies with these. These are not something, now if you've got kids, you're not gonna wanna sit and have your kids brush and brush and brush and brush. I would go to Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, I would buy a boar bristle brush. They're about four bucks. Oh, you, got, you must have poop on your hair. How did you get poop? I wonder, with this many of them in a litter? Um, boar bristle brushes are great. Your kids can sit and brush all day long with this brush on a boar bristle. It will not hurt their skin. It's a very dense, it's not open and needly like these are. This gets rid of all your little knots. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take away his hiding spot. Um, so, boar bristle brushes are great for kids. Um, these are great if you're gonna brush. The nice thing with these puppies, they have the same coat that their mom and dad has. They don't knot hardly at all. What you're gonna see that you get knots in is once you get a whiskers and you get your schnauzer whiskers, those will not if you don't keep those brushed out. Um, but their coats don't have a tendency to knot, which I love this type of coat. And so this is just something that, you know, we only brush our dogs about once every, probably four weeks when they come through here to get groomed. Um, we do keep an eye on knots in the winter. Uh, if you have a dog with knots, don't give it a bath and dry it because you're gonna set those knots in concrete. Um, the other thing that I have been asked to talk about uh, Debbie uh, Mantell from Cinder's Litter asked me about house training. <clears throat> I don't house train these guys. There's no way to train a litter. Um, they naturally will train themselves to go to the back of the kennel to potty. In a five by 10 kennel, when we bring them to the house, um, they are confused for the first two to three days. They might potty in the front five foot. After that, they go to the back, they step into the waterproof five foot square pan. Uh, which has paper back there, and they all do their business back there, and they defecate back there. They do not like to defecate where they live and eat. So uh, in your kennel, if you make sure you put paper in it, I would not buy the fancy bed right off the bat because they're going to drag it through their kennel, play with it, and then they're going to get poop on it, and you're going to have to wash it all the time. Are you listening? You're turning your head, and you're paying attention. Um... So I don't house train. And to truly tell you, it's a long process. You're really looking at about eight months before you can really say with all truth and honesty, my dog is housebroken. You might tell somebody at three months old, oh yeah, our dog's already housebroken, but it can't be, not at three months old. It's still gonna pee occasionally in your house. It's still going to defecate somewhere that you don't know it. Um, one thing too, when you get these guys home and they potty on your floor, don't punish them. Don't rub their nose in it. Don't swat them with the newspaper. You will make them learn to hide and do it. Just like kids, when a parent punishes their child because it wets their pants, and eventually the child hides behind the couch to go to the bathroom. 13. So um, if you are not physically interacting and touching and playing with that dog, lock it up. Either lock it in a puppy X pen, put it in its crate. The best way to house train your dog is with a crate and uh, don't make it a little crate. These people that believe that a little 24 inch crate for the dog that's already this big is foolish. Uh, it would be like putting you in a three foot broom closet and saying, I'll be back in 24 hours. Don't do anything in here. The smaller crate does not keep your puppy from going to the bathroom. So get a big crate, give that puppy room to go to the back of the crate and do its business. That will not mean it's not gonna be housebroken easily. A puppy cannot control it at this age. 14. They're gonna wake up and every, every time they wake up from a nap, they're gonna pee. If you're not there and you've got them in a small crate, they're gonna pee and then they're gonna lay down in it and you're gonna always be cleaning your dog. So that's a quick synopsis of what we do. I gotta get out of here. Vanessa just said we we're over 14 minutes. I can only go to 15 before YouTube shuts it off. So I hope you enjoyed their video. I hope you have a fantastic Thanksgiving. I hope you have a safe one and a joyful one, and uh, we're all blessed to even be able to do Thanksgiving, you know, whether we're supposed to or not to, and that's just my take on it, so there. So anyway, have a good one. We'll get you some pictures on next week after Thanksgiving, and we'll talk to you later.